So we're going to use this Dollar Tree um, glass frame. And it had Mondays, something Mondays, or optional, something like that. And I had read, I had seen before where people used um, nail polish remover and scraped off the words. Unfortunately, the nail polish remover wasn't taking off the words, and I was using my little scraper tool. Um, my husband was kind enough to give me a razor blade, and that went a lot faster. And I was able to scrape the words off. So I was able to find this spider web and spider on the internet and I printed it out and I put it under the glass. Now I'm just taking some black chalk paint and I'm going on top of the glass and painting the web and the spider. Okay, somehow I lost footage, but I took some of that creepy black cloth from the Dollar Tree and I took the frame and I just cut sections of it and modge podged it down to the frame just to make it look creepy and spider webby and haunted. And so I got that down and then I have this dictionary page that I found from the Graphics Fairy um, and it just looks old. So I'm going to glue the spider down into the frame and I'm going to take that dictionary page and glue that down and it is done. And this is how it turned out. There you go. Just making sure that everything's stuck. Give it a trim and we're done. Hey fellow crafters, so we're going to make a spider web frame. I got this frame from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for 99 cents. We're going to give all the sides a coat of black chalk paint and wipe it off. So here's the frame. We got it a good coat of the black chalk paint on there and I wiped it down. Um, there's some loose edges on there that we're going to have to hot glue, but we're going to set that aside for right now. Okay, so our frame's dry, so we're going to take a Flip it over and we're going to take our ruler and mark the center so we know where to start our spider web. Okay, now that we have our measurements on there, we're going to take some of the white Dollar Tree cotton yarn and we're going to cut a piece. So what we're going to do is kind of make like um, an X or a T. I'm not sure what you would. We're going to make like a window pane. We're going to glue it down. And this is going to be the start of our spider web. I remembered my uh, finger protector this time so I don't burn myself with the glue. So then we're going to take it and run a piece of yarn diagonally and then get that glued down and we're going to take another piece and run it the opposite way. I was checking to make sure in the middle but it doesn't have to be perfect because spider webs aren't perfect, right? And there we go. So I went and got a, a piece of the black poster board so you could see what I was doing. It's a lot easier to see the white show up on the black. So first of all, I tied the, the center together because I didn't like the way it was moving around. Then to start the web, I just tied a knot on one of the strings, cut the end off, and then you just start weaving it. So you weave it like under, over, and then kind of make a knot. Um, and then you can move it around so you can like adjust it. So you just want to keep going around in the circle, weaving it under, through, making a knot, and then adjusting as necessary. So there you can see that it's kind of the center of the web. And when you get to, like, I guess you could just keep going around, but I didn't want to do that. So when I got to the end of the first circle, I just kind of made a knot and tied it off. I was going to try to do it, but decided to just cut it. So as you can see I just kept making circles till I got to the very end. I had these two spiders in my craft stash from the Dollar Tree from last year I think. Um, so I glued the one up in the corner and I just took the other one. It had a clip on it so I just clipped it to the center. I might change them out because it's hard to see but here's the project. It's finished. Okay, for the next project, we're going to take a Dollar Tree pizza pan and we're going to give it a coat of the black chalk paint. We're going to make a Halloween door hanger, door wreath 
with the pizza pan and a Dollar Tree calendar. Okay, our pizza pan is dry and I gave it a coat of Mod Podge just to seal the edges because the black chalk paint chips off a lot. So I'm taking the Dollar Tree calendar and I'm taking the page from October, cutting it out, and then using the pizza pan and just running my nail along the edge to find out where I have to cut. So I'm taking my X-Acto knife and cutting the edges off. And then any adjustments we have to make, I'll put it on the pizza pan and we'll see. There's just a little sticking up a little high right there. So I'm going to take the glue stick, give the back of the calendar page a good coat with the glue stick. The glue stick works really well because it's a nice dry glue. So we're going to push, we're going to push the page onto the pizza pan and then where the edges are loose, we'll just give it a little bit more glue stick. And press it down. Okay, we're going to take some of the Dollar Tree um, ribbon. I don't know what, it's the squishy ribbon in the green with sparkles. And we're going to go on the inside with the hot glue and glue the ribbon on the inside of the pizza pan so we can cover up the spaces that the calendar page didn't cover on the pizza pan. We're going to go around twice. So I'm going to cut it because actually this stuff uh, meshes together. Well, you can't see the edge of it. So we're going to put another round, just go around and put another round of the mesh ribbon down. We're going to cover up all those blank spots. And it kind of goes with the count. The green kind of goes with the calendar page green. So we're going to take some of our bat decorations and we're going to give them a coat of black chalk paint or black acrylic paint because I didn't like the way they were shiny. So we're going to do that and then we're going to just set them aside and let them dry. Once the bats were dry, we're just going to find a good place to hot glue them on the edge of the pizza pan. So now I have these cupcake picks from the Dollar Tree. They're little bats. I'm just breaking off the toothpick end of it. And I'm just going to see how many I need to fill in the blank space. And then because the toothpick end, I'm just going to give it a little dab of paint and I'm going to determine where they need to go. I found another big bat, so I added it to the top with hot glue, and I have all the little bats on there, and I think this one came out pretty good. You can use it as a door hanger, if you put a hanger on the back, or a wall hanger, or a shelf setter, but it's very Halloween-y. I hope you like it. Okay, for our next Halloween project, we're going to take a Dollar Tree pizza pan and some white chalk paint, and we're going to give it two coats of the white chalk paint all over. Now that our Dollar Tree pizza pan is dry with the white chalk paint, we're going to take some of the Dollar Tree crepey cloth and we're going to just cut strips of it and we're going to hot glue it onto the front and the back of the pizza pan. And we're just going to cut random strips of it. I think I cut this one a little big. Um, I think it's better when you use smaller strips. Just be careful of the hot glue because it does heat up the pan and come through. And then we're just going to continue cutting random strips and gluing them on. And we're going to take the googly eyes. You can usually find them at the Dollar Tree, but I had to buy these on Amazon because I couldn't find them. So we're just going to hot glue the first one down, make sure it sticks good. We're going to take the second one and put it on there, make sure it's even. And then we're going to pull the crepey cloth down over top of it. And then that little boo right there, we're going to put that at the bottom. Now that we got the position of the boo where we want it, we're going to give this a coat of purple paint. I had to mix two colors together. I didn't have, it's not a specific color. Um, I mixed a dark blue and a lighter purple to get this color. So we're going to give it, I gave it two coats of paint and I got had, had to get on all the nooks and crannies to get the purple paint in there. Okay, our boo is dry, so we're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to position the boo where we had set it up. Then we're going to take some of these little pinkish purple spiders and we're going to glue them on. Oh, I also added some more of the crepey cloth. I didn't like how much of the white was showing through, so I added some more before I did all this. 
Now we're going to take this purple tube, I'm going to wrap it around, and we're going to make a bow. So what you do is you just wrap it around your hand, and then I'm taking um, a pipe cleaner and just fluffing out the bow right now. Then I'm going to take some of this velvet cloth and kind of just make it like a fan. And I'm going to attach those two together. And then I have this little other purple spider that I'm going to put right in the middle to hide it. And then we're just going to glue it down and we're going to cut the ends off. We're going to cut the ends off in a minute. <laughs> we're going to cut the ends of the bow off and we're just about done. Now you can use this as a wall hanger or a door hanger or a table setter. So for our next Halloween craft we have the Spoo. It's like MDF from the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do is take the back hanger off. So now that we have the hanger off the back of it, we're going to take some of the black chalk paint and we're going to give it a really good coat. We're going to make sure we get the sides, the back, all the nooks and crannies, and we're going to make sure that uh, none of the MDF is showing through. Now our, the word boo is dry, so we're going to take the purple spiderweb mesh ribbon from the Dollar Tree. We're going to take some Maj Podge, and we're going to cut little pieces of the, the ribbon off, and we're going to Maj Podge it to the B. Now, somehow I lost footage, but I'm going to do the B and the exclamation point. And what I'm going to do is just keep cutting, like, the the spiderweb parts of the ribbon and Maj Podge them down. And then when I went over top of the ribbon with the Maj Podge where it was still wet, I think it's better if you wait till it dries and then go over it again. And then you can fill in the blank spaces. I got these sparkly uh, pipe cleaners from the Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend them to make it look like legs and feet. It took a little doing to get them to go the right way, but I finally did end up getting them looking like legs. Now that we have the legs, we're going to flip it over and staple them onto the back of the O's to make them look like spider legs. Get those stapled on, and then we're going to take these eyes and we're going to glue them to the top of the O's to finish off our spiders. There you have it. It's all done and we got our little boo sign. For our next craft we got these pumpkins, the styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and we're going to give them two coats of the black chalk paint. Now that our black chalk paint is dry we want to take two of the pumpkins and you want to match them up because they are Dollar Tree pumpkins and they're not symmetrical. Um, and glue them together, one on top of the other. Then we're going to take some pipe cleaners and we're going to cut little ears and make a squiggly little tail, kind of like a tigger tail, and we're going to hot glue those on to the pumpkin. Um, so be careful because the glue, I did burn myself, it came right through the pipe cleaner. Um, just squiggle it up and we're done. So the next thing for our pumpkin cats is to make a little bow for his neck. So, not my most favorite thing to do, but I have a, tu a tutorial, a short, on YouTube if you want to see how I did it. And then we're going to just glue that right to the center of his neck. Make sure. Oh, I was making three of these. So, there's three pumpkin cats all together. I thought that would be a nice trio. But you see how you have to kind of match them up so because they're Dollar Tree pumpkins and they're not symmetrical. In fact, they still sit a little crooked, but they're Dollar Tree. I think they came out cute. So put our last bow on our last cat, and there you have it. We have three little black pumpkin cats. That's what they look like. One's fat and two are skinny. <laughs>